welcome back to my youtube channel cloud and ai analytics hope everyone are doing good so in today's video we are going to see how to read and write pyspark data frame to google cloud storage bucket in google cloud platform so this session we will be dealing more about we'll talk more about pyspark when we talk about pyspark data frame or spark a big data technologies we'll be using one one of the important service in google cloud platform called cloud data proc when you talk about any big data technologies like spark hive spark sql uh, hbase all the other big data technologies the one most uncomfortable service in uh, gcp is called cloud data proc so uh, i have already created a uh, video on how to create data proc cluster what are the different type of jobs available in cloud data proc all those things i have already explained in uh, other video i'll give the link on that video in this command session or in the de description box as well please take a look at it and i have given the command how, how to create a single node data proc cluster and how to submit a, a pyspark job in in this data proc cluster and these are the other additional commands which we will be seeing in this demo session so without any further delay let's get started so i'll go into my uh, google cloud console this is my google cloud console and i'll open uh, this is the cluster this is the data proc cluster which we will be using for this uh, demo session Previously or in the other video, I have already shown you how to submit the job from the GCLI command using the uh, cloud shell. But in this video, I will show you the other approach, uh, the easiest way to submit the job from the console itself. To submit the job, you have to just, after creating the data pro cluster, you have to just click on the submit job. Uh, you have to, uh, you have to uh, click on the specific job ID, which, which is about to like Hadoop, Spark, Spark or PySpark. In our case, we will be using PySpark and we will be giving the Python file uh, link or GCS path of the Python file. And then we will, we can just submit our job. So before that, I'll explain you what we are going to do in this uh, uh, Spark, uh, in this data frame. Like I have, we have created a data pro cluster and that is running fine so i'm just creating a spark data frame so this is my data this is small data uh, small data frame for example i took it and we are writing this to a specific gcs bucket so this is my gcs path uh, this is the composer bucket like this is the composer bucket uh, this is the gcs bucket which we are using for this demo purpose and i am writing into the specific location this is a spark data frame and we are writing it to the specific gcs location uh, in usually most of the real time we will be using a spark data frame we will be creating a data frame out of uh, any file like excel csv other files we will just create the spark data frame and we will write to either gcs bucket or gcs bigquery the same way with the other approaches um, we have to, um, the, all, the file which will be already present in a specific location, like for example, it will be present in BigQuery or else it will be present in the GCS form, GCS bucket in specific format like CSV, Parquet, JSON, any other file. So we have, we'll take that, we'll read that file, we'll make some transformations or alterations or uh, we'll do some uh, minimum transformations to that function, uh, to that data frame and we will again write it back to GCS bucket or GCS BigQuery. So that is the other use case which I have taken for this demo session. So these are the two demo sessions and if you wanted to do it for Pandas data frame, it is very straightforward df.2csv and uh, you have to just give this uh, location of the GCS bucket. So in this session, we will be considering, we will be working more on GCS uh, bucket itself in the next session i'll show you how to do the same in gcs bigquery so now we will go into this data pro cluster this is my cluster details you can find uh, what are the jobs uh, what are the jobs which have submitted like these are the other jobs which i have been doing in this demo session uh, and the, what are the virtual machine instances and the configuration and web interfaces like web interface like anaconda jupyter notebook jupyter lab all those things this is the only a single virtual machine running into my in in this cluster to submit the job my job is to get this main python file so to do like i have downloaded this or you can use this other command gsutil so gsutil cp you have to get the uh, location of the file you can get it like copy path and uh, you can give the bucket name 
composer once and then it will do it. like now i'll show you how to do it in console set so you have to just download this file i have already downloaded it it is in my local folder if you see these are the two uh, three five four files which have been uh, it is in my local now i will open this in my composer bucket so to upload the file you have to just click on the upload and you have to select the file which you wanted to upload so i have already uploaded uh, spark df.py this is one file and spark lock.gcs.py you have to get this path from here uh, you have to just click on this gs util uri path and then you open the data proc uh, cluster some is like paste this uh, gs util of that specific file and then click on the submit like if you wanted to specify any arguments or other files or jar files you can all can give it uh, at this uh, instance itself and then submit the job i just i wanted to create one more job as well so to do that i'll go click on this not this and uh, this cluster submit job and this will be pyspark r and to get the path out of it uh, spark df I am getting the path and I am submitting my file. The same way, I will submit it. So, if you wanted to see the jobs, you can all you can come and see it here. See it over here. I will close the other sessions, which is not useful for us now. So, if you see, two jobs are running. Two, one job, uh, the one is for data frame and the other one is read data file. One, it will be in uh, output and the other one, it will be in output one. So, both the jobs are one job is currently running the other job is about to start so we will see what is happening here and we will see what is happening here as well so it will take around 20 30 seconds to complete this job and once it is completed you can find this in uh, see it is done so job has completed here succeeded the other one is also it is still running uh, it will will take some time so we will see the output of that folder so composer gcs bucket just refresh it pice path and here you can see output and output one so if you see here both the jobs are completed succeeded and this is also succeeded and if you see open this output and output one yeah it's success and the respective csv file is present here the respective csv file is present here if you want you can download it and view it uh, in the console that's it yeah that's it so that's it for today's video uh, i hope you learned something new from this video and i have given some resources which you can take a look at it and explore more in depth as well. So if you have any questions or any uh, comments, please post in the comment section. I'll take a look at it and reply as soon as possible. Uh, please do like, comment, share and subscribe to Cloud and AI Analytics. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, it's bye from Vignesh. Happy learning.